Hello everyone, welcome to 3.1 thousandths. Um, we're going to go forward a little bit because I really want to go over this concept. Um, I don't think it's a difficult concept, but it's one that you need to be aware of. So the essential question is, how can you describe the relationship between two decimal place value positions? Our vocab today is tenth, hundredth, and thousandth. So tenth is the first digit after the decimal, hundredths is the second digit after the decimal, and thousandths is the third digit after the decimal. So just like how we have, let me give you, um, and, I, and I do want you to write this down, just like how we have, you know, 1,452, we have a 1 here, a 10, a hundredth and th hundreds and thousandths. Well, we have the same thing after the decimal. This would be the tenths. This would be the hundredths. Okay, I'm just going to make some arrows there so you guys know. Sorry, it's spelled a little sloppily. And this would be the thousandths. Okay, so if we have 1,452.123, the one is a tenth, the two is a hundredth, the three is a thousandth. There's no, like, ones place. It starts with tenths. Okay, so it starts with the tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. And so we know this, this would be the same as 1 over 10 right here. Okay. This 2, okay, is like 2 over 100. Okay. And this 3 is the same as 3 over 1,000. Okay. Or 2 times 1 over 100 and 3 times... 1 over a 1,000. But we won't go into that too much today. All I want you to be aware of is there are numbers after a decimal. Anything after a decimal, this would be the tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. Okay? It just gets smaller and smaller the further you go past the decimal. Just like if you go this way, on this side of the decimal, it gets bigger and bigger. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's look at an example. These examples are very similar to what you would see in, um, that, that we've done it before. Uh, we just haven't done it with decimals, so it should look very similar. So the first example, okay, example one. Oh, give me one second. Okay. There we go. Okay, so the, f oh man, I'm having... Technical difficulties here. Give me one second. Why aren't you working? Okay. There we go. So the first example, example one, would be 0 0.4 is 10 times, and that's a 10, sorry, <laughs> is 10 times as much as, and then they give you a blank. Well, this is very similar to when we would see like 40, or 4 is 10 times as much as. So this one you say, okay, what number would be um, a, tenth, a tenth of 0.4? Or 10, you know, um, if you were divided by 10, how would that work? And so what you have to do is you have to look at where the 0.4 is. It being 10 times as much means that the, the number before it sh is going to be in the next place, okay, because it's place value. So it would be moved here. So the answer is 0 0.04. That is one-tenth of 0.4. So 0 0.4 is 10 times as much as 0 0.04. And that's true. If you were to multiply 0 0.04 times 10, you would get 0.4. Okay, as your answer. You would get 0.4 as your answer. Um, and, and all you have to do is look at the place value and say, okay, if it's saying it's 10 times as much as a number, that means that that number needs to be moved one to the right. Now, if we get to the next example, all right, and let's go ahead and do the next example. It says, example number two, it says 0 0.003 is one-tenth of, and now you have to figure out what's the number that it's one-tenth of. Well, you know that if it was ten times, then the answer would be a smaller number, but it's one-tenth, so the answer is going to be a number that's bigger. 
So with the other one, you, you went to the right to find out what, what it was 10 times worth. This one, you got to go to the left because this is the smaller of the two numbers. So you have to go to the left, and that would be, as your answer, 0 0.03. Okay? So if they say, what's one-tenth? The number moves one to the left. If it says ten times, the number moves one to the right. All right? Let's do the final example. And this is very similar to how you guys have seen it before. Okay? So you're going to get a, be given a table, and they're going to give you a number. They're going to say, what is that number ten times? Like, what's ten times that number? And then what's one-tenth of that number? Okay, I'll give you three of, uh, of the numbers. So let's go ahead and start. So if I get the number 0 0.1, well, what's ten times that number? Well, this number goes to the left. It would be 1.0, or 1. What's one-tenth of that number? Well, the one moves one to the right, so it would be 0 0.01. Okay, let's do another one. Uh-oh, that, that was terrible. All right, let's do another one. Let's do 0 0.09. Okay, well, that's ten times the number 0 0.9, and one-tenth of that number is 0 0.009. So no, one-tenth means it's going to go to the right, right, because it's smaller. And ten times means it's going to go to the left because that number will be bigger. All right, let's do one last one. Let's say we have 0 .005. Well, ten times that number is 0 .05, right? You go one, one to the left. One-tenth, meaning you go one to the right, is 0 .0005. There's three zeros there. Okay, so ten times you move the place value to the left, one tenth you move it to the right. Okay, if you have any questions, make sure you write those down. Thank you for watching and have a good one.